I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to Professor Agil for giving us the opportunity to work on this wonderful project on mental health. This topic that we've chosen is from the movie Dear Zindagi that appealingly focuses on different aspects of mental health like depression, OCD and post-traumatic stress disorder also known as PTSD. This project was done by a group of four people with the members being Parth Goyal, Neeraj Kumar, Selena Bilu George and Ananya Srivastava. We are elevated to share our work on this platform with the hope that it will do justice to the subject matter given to us. Depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Also called major depressive disorder or clinical depression, it affects how you think and behave and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. In the movie Dear Zindagi, Kiara is a girl going through depression, traumatic stress disorder and OCD. The movie emphasizes the importance of mental health where Kiara has been into several romantic relationships in her past but none of them have made her feel safe and calm. Her relationship with her parents is also complicated. Compulsive Obsessive Disorder OCD, is a mental illness that causes repeated unwanted thoughts or sensations or the urge to do something over and over again. Symptoms include obsessive thoughts, constantly worrying about yourself, fear of being cheated on by your partner with no reason to believe it, compulsive habits, doing tasks in a specific order every time or fear of contacting germs or dirt. Traumatic stress disorder, also known as post-traumatic stress disorder, is a psychiatric disorder that occurs in people who have experienced or witnessed a traumatic event or a series of events. An individual may experience this as emotionally or physically harmful or life-threatening and try to isolate himself as an immediate response. The symptoms include People may try to avoid remembering or thinking about traumatic events or they may resist talking about what happened or how they felt about it. Distorted thoughts about the cause or the consequence of the event leading to wrongly blaming oneself or the others and constantly ongoing fear, horror, anger and guilt is something very overpowering in such conditions. The protagonist of Dear Zindagi is Kaira, a budding young cinematographer residing in Mumbai who aspires to become a film director. Kaira works on a project with Raghuvendra, a film producer for whom she breaks up with her high school sweetheart. Her life takes a downfall when she gets to know that Raghuvendra is getting engaged to someone else. Kaira is subsequently forced to vacate her apartment as the building association only permits married couples and families to reside in the building. All of this, together with her dissatisfaction in her job prospects, forces her to return to her parents' home in Goa, with whom she has had issues throughout her life. She suffers from depression and cries herself to sleep every night. In Goa, she meets a psychologist, Dr. Jahangir Khan, and decides to discuss her insomnia with him. She initially finds it tough to open up to him, but gradually gets comfortable and applies his advices to her life. During a family gathering, Kaira gets constantly compared to her brother, Kido, who is the one person she is most connected to aside from her best friends. The bottled-up emotions causes her to lose her temper and she finally confronts her parents over them abandoning her with her grandparents. After telling Dr. Jug about her life's tragedy, she gains a better understanding of her life's events and tries to work things out with her parents. As the movie comes to an end, Kyra gets an offer to make a short film and has a grand premiere of it with her family and friends. She is finally happy and satisfied and is able to live her life more freely than ever. A fallback from the partner leads to unlively situation that includes anhedonia, insomnia and overthinking. In movie Dear Zindagi, this can be seen when Kiara feels to be ditched by her partner Raghuvendra. Kiara gets to know about the unexpected engagement of Raghuvendra and puts herself in this helpless situation, a situation that can't be cured by medicines. Another key point to focus on is the situation surrounding obsessive compulsive disorder. Some unhealthy instances in life makes us change our personalities and brings in a complete set of fears and obsession. The film Dear Jindagi follows the story of cinematographer named Kiara. She was a little child who was experiencing depression. Her family business started declining. Due to this, his parents shifted him to his maternal grandfather's home. She used to write letters to her parents, but when she came to know about that, her parents had no love or compassion for her. She decided to stop writing the letters. She also decided not to share anything with her parents. 
Gradually, she puts herself in a depressing zone and inculcates a new belief that her life cannot be perfect. She starts to fear the perfect things in her life. Her situation turns out to be so critical that she hates things that are kept in a perfect and proper shape. We usually talk about the problems faced by peer pressure and societal pressure, but forget about the pressure that is caused by the people of our last resort, that is our family. Within a happy family only sometimes, a scene of comparison occurs among the siblings where we have to compete with our own brother or sister. Kiara, the protagonist of Dear Zindagi, faces a situation where she is compared with her brother Kiddo. Kiara loves her brother, but the forced comparison of the family leads her to the frustration that ends in hating the family.